Captain's Personal Log, Stardate 54303.1. Our new first officer is working out nicely, quite capable, though mildly lacking in experience. The commander will gain that with time. My ship has been assigned to the Vesuvi system to investigate the unusual solar activity hampering colonization in the Maelstrom. I hope to learn more at the Vesuvi 4 terraforming station, the sole Federation outpost in this region of space. We are also on alert for any Cardassian activity. Despite Starfleet's claims, I doubt we've seen the last of them here. Icarus 2 is approaching the station. Sir, we're getting some very strange readings from that star. Commander, emergency message from the captain. On screen. Star, oh my god. Its core is destabilizing. Get the ship out of here, now! Sir, warp engine's not responding. Routing emergency power to impulse engines. Picking up an unidentified object warping out of the system. I can't get a good reading on it. We've cleared the system, sir. Setting course for Starbase 12 for emergency repair as ordered. Hallo und willkommen zurück bei dem Kastellator mit Satic Bitch Commander. Ein kleines, aber feines neues Projekt, was ich schon lange machen wollte. Und ich würde mal sagen, wir schnacken nicht lang, wir fangen direkt an. Und ich hoffe, OBS kackt mir hier nicht ab und sonstigen Kram, weil ich musste das Bild ein bisschen größer machen vom Spiel. Es unterstützt keine hohen Auflösungen, aber dabei, dabei sieht es klar und besser aus. Viel besser, das Spiel. Aber heute hat, haben wir hier dieses kleine Problemchen. Kodierung überlassen. Aus. Ja. Für ein so altes Spiel, was ich auf modernen Systemen zum Laufen gebracht habe, äh, sogar fast absturzfrei, sagt er mir, Kodierung überlastet die ganze Zeit. Also, ziemlich interessant. Das ist jetzt ungefähr der vierte Aufnahmeversuch. Also, wir fangen an. Neues Spiel, neues Glück. Auf Schwierigkeit grad normal und dann los. Captain on the bridge. Incoming message from Admiral Liu. On screen. Captain, I'm glad to see you're settling into the center chair. I'm Admiral Liu, Chief of Starfleet Operations in the Maelstrom. Starfleet has a delicate assignment for you. The impact of the Vesuvi event is still being assessed. The Dragos colony was completely destroyed when the solar wave you reported consumed Vesuvi 2. Both the Geki mining operation and the Haven colony at the edge of the system have suffered severe damage. Proceed to Starbase 12 to take on emergency medical supplies, personnel, engineers, and equipment for the relief of the Geki and Haven colonies. 
Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise will join you aboard Dauntless for this mission. The captain recently was a guest lecturer at the Academy and has accompanied your new first officer from Earth. When your mission is completed, deliver Captain Picard to Birunu Station, where he will be speaking at a symposium. Time is of the essence, Captain. Unnecessary delays will cost lives. Liu out. Yes, the ruins on Tega 6 are spectacular. I'll be sure to mention your good taste in my formal report. Thank you, Captain. Captain Jean-Luc Picard, a pleasure to meet you. I understand you served as this vessel's first officer. I knew Captain Wright. We went to the Academy together. You have my sincere condolences on his loss. However, if he saw fit to select you as his number one, I'm sure you'll do extremely well commanding the Dauntless. I would like to introduce you to your new first officer, Commander Safi Larson. Captain, I'm looking forward to working with you. Commander Larson, if you will take your station. Commander Larson will keep track of your mission objectives and current orders, Captain. Your first mm -hmm. officer can be the greatest resource at your disposal. As a former first, you've already had that experience yourself. Commander Larson, bring us to Condition Green and ready the ship for departure. Aye, sir. Condition Green. All hands rig for departure. Chief, please bring the main deflector, warp drive, and impulse engines online. And make sure our warp intermix ratio is at optimum efficiency. Aye, Captain. Main deflector and main drive systems register as ready. Mr. Diaz, bring main sensors online. Check that all worker bees in the area are clear. Yes, sir. Main sensors online. Registering all worker bees out of dry dock area, Captain. Mr. Savali, please bring the structural integrity fields online and make sure our tactical systems are primed and ready. Shields and defensive systems registering is fully operational, sir. We have a full torpedo complement and the structural integrity fields are engaged for transit. Ensign Lomar, clear all moorings and take us out easy. One quarter impulse. Please signal the quartermaster. We're heading out. Signaling dry dock. All moorings cleared. One quarter impulse. Aye. A Federation vessel is only as good as its crew. This point cannot be overstated. It is this interaction with a well-trained crew that allows a starship to operate with a singular purpose. Captain, the bridge is yours. If you would like, take a moment to inspect each of the stations. If you would like any advice, feel free to consult with me. Oh, cool. Captain, it is always a good idea to check with your first officer to confirm your current orders. Ich hoffe nur, jetzt alles funktioniert so wie ich yes, es will, sir? ne? Da sind meine Ziele. Sir, we should head to Starbase 12 to pick up the supplies. May I suggest testing the other mode of starship operation, the direct tactical interface. Use the space bar on your command console to toggle between the two views. Kann man die Kamera nicht drehen? Nein. Ja, die Kamera drehen. <lacht> Nein, funktioniert nicht. Ich kann die Kamera nicht drehen. Congratulations, sir. Captain Wright would be very proud of you. Aber das Besondere: In diesen riesen Kahn selbst steuern. In diesem Modus. Und ich weiß echt nicht, was ob er es heute wieder hat, aber das Ding spinnt ohne Ende. Laid in. Ja, das Spiel ist uralt. <lacht> Und ich äh, lasse es hier gerade auf einer sehr modernen Maschine laufen, die wohl auch immer mal Schrott geht. Yes, sir. Lass das ja alles über die Grafikkarte kodieren. Und encodieren, wie man es auch nennt, dekodieren. Ach scheiß auf. We have arrived at Starbase 12, Captain. Shall I bring us in closer to the Starbase, sir? Yep. We will not be able to initiate a dock until we are closer to the Starbase. Ensign Lomar can bring us in closer by flying to the Starbase nav point. Ich glaube, es wird Zeit für eine neue Grafikkarte. Yes, sir. Wenn jetzt noch nicht so einen großen Videodekodierungsspeicher, aber hey, das ist ein einzelner Chip drauf, der es macht. Und der allein für Videodinger zuständig ist. Also, warum nicht? Ja, ich würde es nehmen, Video. Good day, Dauntless. I'm Commander Graf, Commander hier at Starbase 12. It's good to see your ship back in one piece. We've assembled the supplies for your mission, Captain. 
We will transfer them over to your cargo base once you've docked. Shall I initiate docking procedures, Captain? Ja, ich will docken, aber am glücklichsten bin ich momentan, dass ich überhaupt aufnehmen kann. Ja, glaub gar nicht, wie oft sich dieses Spiel geweigert hat. Wow. Habt ihr, hab, hab, habt ihr gerade seine Hände gesehen? Das nenne ich eckig. Hm? Ja, klipp ein bisschen durch. Bin eckig. Captain. Andocken bitte. Sequence initiated. Starbase 12 is the main staging area for Federation operations in the Maelstrom. Any damage repairs or resupply needs you have will be attended to here. Welcome to your home away from home, Captain. We are secured to take on ship supplies, sir. Transferring supplies. Cargo base 3 and 4 report supplies have been received and stowed for transport. Transporter room 2 reports that the medical and engineering teams have beamed aboard, sir. Hm, aber OBS hat, hat sich anscheinend wieder gefangen. Keine Ahnung, was yes, das hatte. Ähm, wir müssen den Kurs setzen auf Vesuvi. Weißt du? Vesuvi. Yes, sir. Machen Sie es so. We have arrived at the edge of the Vesuvi system, sir. We are being hailed by the Haven Colony. Opening channel. Yep. This is Director Tobin Solmes. It's good to see you, Dauntless. We have quite a situation on our hands. The Vesuvi event has sent stellar debris into our region. Some larger pieces have settled near our orbital facility. This debris will make it impossible for the incoming supply convoy to transfer their cargo. Before you beam down the relief supplies to the surface, please clear the area around the orbital facility. Contact me when you are done. Thank you. Soames out. Not the most challenging assignment, but it'll be a good weapons test. Perhaps now will be a good time to look over the tactical systems. Oh, and falls ihr euch wundert, warum, warum hat äh, die Sprachausgabe auf Englisch, aber der Text auf Deutsch? Dieses Spiel kam nie mit einer deutschen äh, Sprachausgabe raus. Nie. Lag wahrscheinlich daran, dass die Leute eher so in der Zeit auf Originalstimmen so ge äh, gewässert haben. Vermute ich mal. So, yes, Land Captain. Rot. Red Alert, Shields up. Jetzt fühle ich mich glücklich. Yes, sir. Komma Nummer 1. Zerstören. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Eigentlich am besten. Das gucken wir jetzt mal schön an. Moving into attack range. Man muss die Panorama kamera? Ja. Guck mal, die Kamera ist durch. Moving into attack range. Das war nicht mein Ziel, aber okay. Moving into attack range. Selbst dieses kleine Detail des Energiebündelns des Phasers ist mit drin. Moving into attack range. Und diese Zielausrichtung, das ist nochmal cool. That's the last of the debris. Shall I raise the colony, sir? Äh, wo mach ich die Kamera wieder rum? Da. <lacht> so, wir sollen die Kolonie rufen. Ich bin dunkel hier. Ich kann aber leider nicht aufstehen. Ich würde mal gerne die Anzeigen da hinten sehen. Aber passt so. Ruf die Kolonie. 
Hailing frequencies open. Thank you for clearing the station, but it looks like we have bigger problems now. The sensors on our orbital facility have just picked up a number of planetary fragments on a collision course with our planet. We are already in a weakened state after the Vesuvi event, and it's doubtful we could take many hits. Director Soames, get your people into whatever shelters you have available. We'll do what we can from up here. Thank you, Dauntless. Soames out. I recommend an initial scan of the area so we can get a better idea of what we're up against. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Your order, sir. Skin? Initiating scan. Picking up the fragments in our sensor, sir. Looks like we have a total of five large planetary fragments in two groups. Looks like they're all headed toward Haven. If we can get to them quickly enough, there's a pretty good chance we can take them all out. Stellar cartography should be able to present a good idea of the fragment's relative distance to the colony. Wasn't it? Yeah. I could bring us within range of the fragments, sir. We can break them up with weapons fire once we're in range. Intercept course plotted. Abfahren Kurs wäre der Beste. Alter, das Schiff kann doch mal Gas geben. Perhaps Lieutenant Engaging to destroy the order to destroy the target. Moving into attack range. Ich könnte doch bestimmt äh, selber schießen, denke ich mir. Aber ich lasse das immer machen. Da kann das so gut. Ah. Be careful not to rob power from other essential systems, though. By taking an active role in allocating power between your shields, weapons, and propulsion system, your vessel's capabilities can be augmented to suit the situation. Falling back for an attack run. That's why I just. Ah, hinten sind also keine Phaser. Ja, hier man sieht den Ring innen hinten. Moving into attack range. Moving into attack range. Sieht schon geil aus. Äh, willst du langsam mal angreifen? Sweeping through phaser arcs. Vielleicht sollten wir die Waffenenergie doch erhöhen. Muss schneller geladen werden. Might I recommend Moving diverting into attack some power range. to the impulse engines? It will increase the ship's speed and decrease the time it takes to get from one set of fragments to another. Ja, Pika. Hop. Mehr Geschwindigkeit, mehr Waffenenergie. Moving into attack range. Schilde brauchen wir eigentlich nicht. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Ja, die Waffen laden schneller auf mit mehr Energie. Man sieht's. Sir, the fragments are closing on the planet. We might still Moving have time into to attack catch range. Them. Falling back for an attack run. Na, dann noch mal zu. Ja, sieh mal zu. Auch wenn der Musikclip im Hintergrund nur ein Moving kleiner Clip ist, klingt trotzdem cool. Okay. 
Sir, we did it. All incoming fragments have been reduced to non-lethal sizes. We are being hailed by the Haven Colony. Very Opening nice. channel. The people of Haven owe you and your crew a debt of gratitude, Captain. We owe our lives to your courage and quick thinking. Again, we thank you. If you will put your ship into orbit, we can transfer the relief supplies. Standing by to establish orbit, Captain. Okay. Yes, Captain? Lass mich also erstmal wieder hier auf normal bringen. Damit wir hier unsere Batterie nicht verlieren. Hier, Hauptbatterie. Warum oh, eigentlich Batterie? Das habe ich mich bei, äh, bei der Enterprise schon immer gefragt. Warum eigentlich Batterie? Der Warpcam produziert doch eigentlich auch Energie. Theoretisch. Und dann noch hier Batterie und Reserve Reserveenergie. Das ist so. Mm. Mm. Ich weiß nicht. Yes, sir. Und bevor jemand fragt, ja, ich spiele dieses Spiel in Vanilla und nicht mit Mods, weil Mods machen dieses Spiel extrem instabil. Und Vanilla wollte ich das äh, Standard Orbit. einfach mal machen. Aye, Kommen wir überhaupt näher? Wow, ja? Oh, ich habe was vergessen. Captain, cancel red alert. Hm. Wir brauchen noch nicht mehr Energie und Schildenergie. Incoming transmission. I am sending coordinates for your people to beam down. My subdirectors will advise them when they arrive. Coordinates received, Captain. Our teams will begin beaming down supplies and personnel immediately. Admiral Liu told us what happened to the Dragos colony. We've been unable to contact Mr. Takahara on the Geki mining colony. I can only hope their outpost survived the effects of the disturbance. Sir, all supplies and equipment have been beamed down. Again, thank you, Dauntless. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't arrived when you did. Transport complete. We can get underway, Captain. Incoming message from Starfleet, sir. Captain, one of our ships, the Sovereign, is on its way to our space dock facilities for refitting. She's manned by a skeleton crew and is being escorted by two Klingon birds of prey. Her mm. captain, Jonathan Soto, has reported a breakdown in her warp drive, and she's had to lay over in the Tevron system. The Klingons are under orders to divert to Birnu Station and will not be able to stay with her. However, they will be able to transport Captain Picard there with them. Rendezvous with the Sovereign in the Tevron system and join the escort. Once the Sovereign is underway again, you are to continue your mission and deliver the relief supplies to the Geki colony. Liu out. Your orders. Okay. Sir. Kurs setzen. Tevron. Kurs laid in. Da wir das in der Zeit, ich meine, die erste Folge, ne, machen wir eh mal etwas länger. Weil die Intros immer so lang sind. Immer sind die Intros so scheiße lang. Also wir machen das noch. Dieses wunderschöne Schiff eskortieren. Approaching the Tevron system, sir. Any sign of the Sovereign and her escorts, Mr. Diaz? I have three ships holding in orbit around Tevron 2, Commander. Your Tevron orders, two. sir. Kurs setzen. Tevron. Hm? Ach, da hinten. Und dann bringen wir es mal hier ran. Intercept course plotted. Ah, da ist sie. Sovereign Captain and two birds of prey. Shall I hail the sovereign, sir? Ja klar, ruf, ruf. Channel open. Captain Soto, sir. On screen. Congratulations on your promotion to command, Captain. I'm glad to see you here. Repairs are progressing, but we only have a skeleton crew on board, so it's taking some time. We've had to take the impulse engines offline, so we're immobile until the repairs are complete. This would have been only a ferrying assignment. He's undoubtedly short-handed. Incoming message, sir. Captain Draxon of the Rancouf, sir. On screen. Hail, Captain. Your timely arrival frees my ship and the Traor to depart for Biranu Station. However, there is something you must know before we leave. 
My tactical officer reported suspicious readings on his scanners on our way here. Suspicious in what way, sir? Two very faint readings, fading in and out. He thinks we may have been followed by at least two vessels, cloaked. Your scanners could be out of sync. Not on my ship, Lieutenant. No! I speak truth. I would stay, but our duty demands we reach Biranu Station on our timetable. Be on guard, Captain. Excuse me, sir, but we have company. Two warbirds uncloaking to starboard. Well, klar. Was so klar? Romulana. Sind immer Romulana. They're hailing us, sir. On screen. Greetings, Captain. I am Torren, commanding the warbird Soryak. With respect, Captain, do you have some business with us? The Romulan Star Empire is well aware of the incident in the Vesuvi system. That was troubling. Now we have further cause for concern. The Enterprise has been patrolling the Maelstrom for quite some time. Now Starfleet has introduced this second Sovereign Class ship to the Maelstrom. A somewhat disputed area. We must question the reasons for its presence and its relationship to the Vesuvi event. I can assure you neither Starfleet nor the Federation knows any more than you do about the cause of the Vesuvi incident. Two Sovereign Class vessels raise vast suspicions, Commander. Suspicions we are prepared to act on. Now. Sir, the Klingons have raised their shields and are powering up weapons. Let us see if these Romulans are truly prepared to act on these failed threats. Who is threatening whom, Klingon? I do not threaten. I challenge. The Klingons have opened fire, Captain. Very well. They're firing we shall on the Sovereign. Again. The Sovereign has taken some hits. Incoming transmission. Your orders, sir. We're losing Red alert, shield shields up. up. Down 25%. I'm shifting more power to the shields, but I don't think they'll hold. The Dauntless is yours, Captain. Your order, sir. Warten wir. Yes, Captain. Hau mal ein bisschen mehr in die Waffen. Captain. Ja. Yep. Warbirds uncloaking again. They're firing. Captain Draxon on screen. Douglas, we are attacking the Hadema. Join. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Report, Lieutenant. Engaging to disable, Captain. Looks like Aushalten. the Klingons are doing a good job at distracting the Warbird. While the Romulans are busy with the birds of prey, we can take a moment to plan our attack. Your phaser fire will be more effective if you target specific subsystems on the warbirds. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Subsystems? Auf dem Futter, das ist effektiv. Oder? Sir, we are draining their top shield. Treffen wir überhaupt? Captain, our attacks are draining their right shield. Ow. Einfach nur au. Da zerstöre. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Ich bin mit voller Kraft rein. Moving into attack range. Hmm. Bottom shield is draining, sir. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Alter, diese Soundkulisse ist einfach nur Hammer. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. The 
cloaking device would put the Romulans at Falling back for an attack run. Ah. Stimmt, Tarnverrichtung. Das ist der Handicap. Ja, da machen wir ordentlich Schaden. Mining up forward torpedo tubes. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Tarnung zerstört. Integrity at 75%. Bestie Idee von Peter. Ich würde empfehlen, dass Ja, komm, dann mach das schon Moving into attack range. Aber stecken ja mehrere Modelle in einem, das ist es ja. Low intensity phaser fire will damage a vessel's subsystems. Full power phases will weaken the enemy's shields. Falling back Status for an on attack the Romulans, Lieutenant. Looks like we've bloodied their noses a bit. We've taken some damage, Captain. I would recommend that you check with your chief and prioritize repairs. Disengaging. Yes, sir. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Die verschwinden jetzt. Hoffe ich mal. Das sieht aus, als ob sie den Erstreichkurs machen wollen. Oh, die sind weg. They're turning about. They've gone to warp, sir. Where are they? Are they coming Cancel back for more or not? Alert. You don't get your wish, Ensign. Looks like they've gone. Klingon birds of prey uncloaking. Captain Draxon, sir. On screen. It's past time for us to go on to Biranu Station, Captain. Although, this has been an interesting skirmish. I am also due at Biranu Station, Captain Draxon. With your permission, I will transfer to your ship for the final leg of the journey. We will be honored by your presence, Captain. Make your preparations and transport to us when you are ready. Draxon out. I'll take my leave of you now, Captain. Good luck. Hm? Oh. Leb wohl, Pika. Transporter Room reports Captain Picard is ready to beam over to the Rancouf, sir. Scheiße, wie schnell. Now. Captain Picard has transferred to the Klingon ship. Long-range scanners indicate another ship entering this system. It's the Zukov. Incoming message from the Zukov, sir. Captain Verada in command, on screen. Dauntless, we have been assigned to complete the escort of the Sovereign to Space Dock. We will stand by until she is ready. You may proceed to the Vesuvi system to supply the surviving colonies there. Verata, out. Transmission from Sovereign, sir. On screen. We've been able to make sufficient repairs to allow us to warp, Captain. We're heading on to Starbase 12 with the Zukov. Thanks for your help. Soto out. The Klingons are leaving, sir. I suggest we do the same. We have to complete our run to the Vesuvi system, sir. Starfleet regulations require us to drop out of warp at the edge of the Vesuvi system before proceeding to the inner planets. Hey. Eh? Also, Leute, ja. <laughs> Wir machen in der nächsten Folge weiter. Boah, ist das schon wieder lang geworden. 30 Minuten! Und da kommt noch das Intro hinzu, was ich hinzuschneiden muss, weil ich das nur einzeln aufnehmen konnte. Also, bis denn, euer Castellator. Hab euch lieb. Äh, äh, sagt mir eure Meinung zu dem Spiel. Lasst mir was da und bis zum nächsten Mal. Haut rein, tschüss und danke fürs Zusehen.